Hi, everybody. This is Melissa. How the heck are you? This is attempt number three at this video. I got so fed up, I just went and put on my pajamas. So, let's try it again. For some reason, either I'm screwing up my camera or my camera's just screwing me up. I'm not sure which it was, but somebody's getting messed over here. Okay. I went to Michael's today. I have a little bit of a haul for you. And I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because there's only three items in this haul, but there are three very cool items. One I actually went to get because I saw that it was on sale. Never mind the ants. I left my coffee in here today and they besieged my room and my desk. So I'm still killing them. Anyway. Two, I just found because I didn't, I was not even aware that they had these and I just thought they were so cool. They weren't very expensive, so I just went ahead and I grabbed them so I could show you guys and then I can play in them later. Okay? Yes. That's me. All right. So, number one, this has, I'm trying to pull them out so that you can't see them. Since I've already done this video twice. Everything's already out of its packaging. You know, I started off, I had the packaging and everything just so I could just rip it open with you and you could, you know, feel my joy. But that's not happening now. Okay. Anyway, this is a planner from Recollections. It's new. Now, if any of you are familiar with uh, Michael's planners, um, they have... Basically the same size is kind of the same size as, as Happy Planner in a small, medium, and a large size. And the basic layout of them is kind of like an Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, but they do have colors in them and, and you know, some have really, um, you know, pretty designs and everything. They have all different kinds. There's really gorgeous ones, all different kinds. Well, this is kind of step down from that. This is a totally minimalist planner. So it's smaller than their, their medium size, uh, but it's a little bit bigger than their pocket size. So if you're looking for something for work, that's just really just a minimalist layout, this is perfect. Um, you know, if you're just a minimalist yourself, this is perfect. This one has rose gold in it and they have a couple of different colors and textures, but no flowers, no pictures, nothing, just a color, and that's it. The inside, very, very minimalist, <laughs> as I was saying. So, you, this one goes from June uh, 2021 to May 2022, which is a little bit weird because usually they go from July to, anyway, anyway. Everything is just nice and clean and totally up, you know, for your own interpretation so that you can do whatever you want to with it. Contact information, perpetual calendar. Um, month at a glance. Vision board. And then, see, this is the first tab. No decorations. And there is your first month. So to me, this is a lot like, you know, buying uh, inserts like I buy for my ring inserts or uh, ones that I make. You keep them minimalist and then you do what you want to with them. You know, you decorate them if you want to. You don't have to. Just whatever you want to do, it gives you the freedom of choice. The, this is what the week looks like. So it's kind of like the dashboard layout. Make sure I'm showing you that. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, excuse me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, of course, the weekends are a little bit smaller. But if you need to make more notes on any of these days, for any reason, you've got a note page over here that looks very much like the Cornell notes. So you're covered. That's, I think that's plenty enough room for most people. And then there's your second week. And then when you get to your next month, same thing, just repeat. To me, that is a perfect solution for someone who doesn't want to spend a lot on a planner, 
want some minimalist look to it. I was just like, now this is, this is cool. I mean, it's always a good thing when a company adds, enlarges a section for something, you know, gives you more diversity. That's what that is. Now let me show you item number two. Almost the exact same thing, right? This one, but check this out. It's like black croco. It feels really nice, actually. It's just cardboard, but it doesn't feel that way. It's textured. It feels really, really nicely. I almost got this one in a blue croco. They had a royal blue croco in that. Almost got it, but it didn't. This is what I saw that first caught my eye to make me start looking through them and see what they were. The difference in this one is it still goes from June to May of 2022, but, and you still got all your other little things in there pretty much, but all of your months, oh my gosh, ants, my fault, I did it, but I don't care, I'm still killing them. Okay, so all your months are right up here, first few pages, then this is your daily. So this is a daily planner. That's where that one is, a weekly planner. But it doesn't have, you know, it's just blank. So you get to just do it however you want to do it. You know, put in sections if you want to. Bullet journal it, whatever you want to do. For me, I'm going to use this as my health planner. Um, not health planner, excuse me, my health diary. Because I have my health planner, which is the most important planner that I have. You guys know that is this beautiful Aurora Estelle, and she's also Kraka. She's gorgeous. But I have that, and that's where I keep all my appointments, all my medication list, all my procedures, all my illnesses, all my doctor's information, that kind of stuff. But it does even have it tracking, but it doesn't leave me a lot of room to actually write out symptoms or things like that. So that is what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna write out my symptoms I had during the day, which ones were the worst. Uh, did I recognize any patterns that could have possibly started them? You know, any triggers? Um, mood, you know, what was my mood like? Was my mood directly related to how my body felt? That kind of thing. I just saw this and I'm like, that's perfect for this. And like I said, these were 50% off, regular $20, so I got it for 10. Yes, I did. I got it for 10. So I was pretty stoked about that. And it's a whole year worth of daily. So, and because it is a generous size, you know, you've got plenty enough room. For me, that's definitely enough room. Uh, if you just want a journal, if you just want a diary, just whatever. I, this, to me, is just perfect. And it's just really cool looking type boot. And you could keep appointments in here. Just do it however you want. Just whatever you want to do, girl. Just use your imagination. Woohoo! Almost tipped you over. I apologize. All right. So those were the two not planned on. Did I need them? Absolutely not. I just wanted them. I can use this one. There's a useful purpose for that. But, you know, for that matter, I could have just thrown a notebook together and done that. But it just looks way better to me. I like it. All right. Now for the item that I actually went there to pick up that I actually told myself I wasn't going to because I didn't need it. And I would not fully utilize it no matter how beautiful it was. They put it on sale fifty percent off, and I was like, "Ah, well, what time should I show up?" The Happy Planner. I know they're probably getting ready to release, you know, a whole new line because they th these days it's so hard with planners that you know Kiki K doesn't even release this sometimes three, four times a year. How's a person supposed to keep up, not lose their mind? Pardon me. Like I said, it's a regular little slaughterhouse in here today. Anyway, this one, when they did come out with it, I was just stoked about the design. I got the sticker books and everything. I always get their sticker books because they're floral sticker books that just, you know, better than anybody else's, period. So, 
I got the sticker book and I was even going to attempt to make this, but it is just so blasted beautiful. You know, lilacs and lavender, fuchsia, those kinds of colors are my colors. I love them so, so much. Those are even cute. They're little speckled purple disc, which I have some purple um, metal ones that I think would actually look better than this, but you know, even if I don't, what I got. So, live life in full bloom. I attempt to do that. It's just what once was a rose, now looks like, yeah, I'm getting a little bit wilted, but you know, I, I still try. And then look on the inside. It's just beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I got it mainly for the cover. And the, the folders are just absolutely beautiful. My happy planner that I do occasionally use just for fun, you know, just for fun sake, funsies. Um, goes all the way through December. I've got my squad goal girls, which, why did, what's the deal? Where are the squad goal girls at, guys? Any happy planners out there know? What did they do with them? No new sticker books, no new happy planners with them on the front. And quite frankly, that's the ones I always bought. So I was very sad that they didn't have one this year. But anyway, so this one uh, goes through, uh, what, next year? All the way through December of next year. So, in theory, I should never wouldn't have to buy one for a year and a half. <laughs> like I said, I don't use these as my main planners, but they are so pretty. Just like the, the minimalist ones are perfect for those that aren't in all that. You can just decorate them and be creative yourself or just keep as is. These are just fun. These are like... You know, let's be in school again and get the cutest notebook. Have the cute, cute, you know, absolute cutest three ring binder of any other girl in class. That's what, excuse me, this reminds me of. And this one, I, I was so lucky they had it in. My Michaels rarely ever has anything in stock, but they did. And look how pretty she is. You got 2021 personal goals. 2022 financial goals, career goals, perpetual calendar, as always. They keep having one of those in there for you. And this is next month. This is July. Look how pretty. So pretty. I mean, it just, it, they really are so pretty. And there were a couple of more that I even liked. I like their faith planner that they have this time. Um, there's one that's more... Um, has uh, more pinkish florals all over it. It's still beautiful. And then there was one that was, a, oh gosh, what was it called? I can't remember. It's kind of a minimalist look because I like that too. <laughs> yeah, I just like it all. <laughs> What's your style, Melissa? Whatever floats my boat that day. That's what my style is. Yeah, the girl's kind of wishy-washy. She has no style. <laughs> but these are just beautiful. These are definitely pastel colors. And then you have, is this the, this is, this is the horizontal layout, which has always been my favorite up until recently. I've started using different kinds of things, but it's just real easy just to really ride out things. And you got enough room sticking more stickers on this side and that kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, yes, my nails do match. <laughs> Whoopsies. Happy accidents. Yeah, that's what that was. Happy accident. Okay, and then for August, that's the cover. And let me tell you, when I'm done with these, you know, when the, the months has passed, don't think for a second that I'm not cutting these babies down and punching them for my uh, ring binders, because I am. I'm using them like that. So pretty can't not use them that way. And see, these are real flowers. It's pictures of real flowers. And uh, normally I don't like that so much, but I just love this one. The way they did it, it's just beautiful. There's your first page of the month page. Let's see what we got for October. Oh, they have a notebook like this. I love that too. That's really pretty, taking, taking us into fall. November. 
lavender everywhere. This is about the only kind of flower that actually grows in the Northwest is lavender. And roses, roses do very well here. Just bloom in December, not very Christmassy looking, but it's still very pretty. And I love the Just Bloom stuff, I love it. And then for next year, this is the cover of the Big Happy Planner that they have in this version. So January, February, March. Look at the gold foiling too. I just love that so much. April, getting back into the spring again. May, oh, that's yellow. That's a whole lot of yellow right there, ladies. That's very, 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 oh, that's almost as yellow as the key you can I'm trying to sell right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> July, oh, love that one too. Very much like the front. It's just beautiful. Got the watercolors. I love that. August, choose joy. That is my motto. Plus, you, when you choose Jesus, you choose joy. Don't let the world drag you down into its muck and mire. Oh, I love that too. That's gorgeous. That's just gorgeous. That's very Octobery. You know me, I'm going to slap a pumpkin on that. November. Oh, it's gold. I like that. I'm digging that too. Oh, and another beautiful lavender for December. Who says Santa Claus doesn't like purple flowers? And there she be. I think she's just beautiful. Like I said, this isn't a totally an aesthetics thing. I just wanted it because it's pretty. I mean, it is. That's uh, when I first saw it. I was like, oh, I don't need it. I don't. But since it's fifty percent off, it was a little over sixteen dollars. So I did not spend that much today. All three items that I purchased were fifty percent off. I got a whole lot of happiness in a bag for a very little amount of money so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe share me with your friends and comment below am i crazy or do you feel me let me know and i will see you next time